I have great news. We can finally light our awful LCD monitors on fire and send them straight to hell because I got a ton of new information on many upcoming OLED monitors, including, yes, both 32 inch and 27 inch high resolution quantum dot OLED gaming monitors. So let's rip that wax paper between your cheeks right off and take a look at what's going on. Now, this information is coming from an article written in collaboration, I believe, between TFT Central who's a well-known reviewer and what appears to be someone working in the monitor industry. So there's definitely some legitimacy behind this one, guys. And if you want to see everything they have to say, I will have a link in the description tactically placed right under my Patreon link, which, by the way, you should definitely go ahead and click on to get access to the Discord so you can ask me questions directly. But I digress. Let's get our meaty hands into the orifices of this article and look at the image they shared, which pretty much shows you everything you need to know. No. Taking a look at the roadmap real quick, I want to point out to you guys, this is 2024. Now, while there might be some stuff still coming out in 2023, the really, really good stuff that we know for sure is definitely coming does sound like it's coming in 2024. And taking a look, the first thing I want you guys to notice is that in quarter one, there was supposed to be a roughly 32 inch RGB OLED. And I think that's kind of the one that I was taking a look at in this video that you can see on screen now, or maybe it's something kind of like that. But unfortunately, it looks like the company that was gonna release it went bankrupt. So I know they've been purchased by somebody else, but I don't know when these things are gonna actually see daylight. And it looks like, Probably not in quarter one anymore. Now, the next thing you're going to notice is there's supposed to be another 34 inch quantum dot OLED 21 by 9 to 40 hertz. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that this year and not next year because that would be very bizarre to be pushing it off that far when we already have the 49 inch version. But hey, yeah, maybe it'll come that late. Then the next thing you're going to see is apparently a 39 inch W OLED 21 by 9 to 40 hertz. And Honestly, if this is just a 1440p type of monitor, which it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now, all these W OLED panels coming out after their Quantum Dot OLED brethren, I'm not sure if it's worth waiting for them because in my testing W OLED, and hey, maybe there's something going wrong with the testing or something like that, you know, don't take this as gospel, but it appears as though when I try and test W OLED, it does have inferior color volume when compared to Quantum Dot OLED. So although maybe it has lower risk for burn-in, I just don't know if it's worth waiting for them if there's gonna be probably no real benefit and maybe only downsides going with LG's W OLEDs when you consider not only the color volume potentially being worse, but we'll have to wait and see when they come out if that remains to be true or if there's something going wrong there, I'm not sure. And also it seems like LG's dead set on using matte finishes. Again, maybe they'll change that in the future, but if they're gonna go ahead and choose to continue to use matte finishes, it, it just makes no sense to wait for their displays if they're gonna be just worse than the Quantum Dot OLED versions, which will be almost certainly glossy. Now, the other W OLED that's coming out is gonna be a 34 inch, 21 by nine, probably 1440p, 240 hertz as well. But then we got the really, really good stuff, guys. And this is the 31.5 inch Quantum Dot OLED 4K, 16 by nine, 240 hertz. And again, I want you guys to remember, this information is very likely to be true. This stuff is very likely to be coming out sometime around when this chart is showing. I have pretty good confidence that being the case. Now, of course, things can change. We don't know for sure, but that would be my guess based on where this information is coming from. And this is the one I think everybody's waiting for because quantum.oled is definitely the best panel technology on the market today based on all my testing. It just blows everything else out of the water, not only in terms of you know brightness versus other OLED, but also the color is very, very good on quantum.oled as well. And they do tend to use a glossy finish giving you great clarity as well. They've also done some work rearranging the pixel substructure, I believe, which has led to less color fringing, making it just honestly a great choice for a monitor, especially if it's gonna be 4K in 240 Hertz at that size, that's absolutely fantastic. But if you're more into eSports, they're also apparently gonna be having a 27 inch Quantum OLED 16 by 9, 1440p at 360 Hertz, which we have not seen OLED at 360 Hertz yet. So I would really, really like to see that and see just how fast it really is. Cause I'm sure it's an absolutely fantastic 
experience to have. And then finally, we got the 31.5 inch W OLED 4K, 16 by 9, 240 hertz. Again, if you're really into LG monitors, hey, might be worth waiting. But again, I think you're just waiting for no reason. It's likely gonna be worse in many aspects, only potentially better in terms of quality control because I've had my issues. I know I've heard many other people say they've had their issues with Samsung quality control. But other than that, I do really think the ones that are worth waiting for here, guys, are gonna be the 34 inch quantum.oled if you're into that one, the 32 inch roughly quantum.oled 4K if you're into 4K gaming, which I know I am. And if we're lucky, it'll be full LED as well, which means it could be significantly brighter than the stuff we have out today. But even if it's just regular generation two quantum.oled, it'll still be a massive improvement over all the other 4K monitors on the market. And then of course, the other one I think worth waiting for if you're into esports, that sort of stuff, is the 27 inch quantum.oled. All those monitors on the table there are looking really, really good, but there's also a bunch of other sizes and stuff coming out in 2024, potentially maybe 2023 as well. So definitely make sure you're subscribed so I can keep you guys up to date on that because there is a lot of really, really exciting monitors coming out. I feel like we've been having to put up with trash for just way too long and it's finally becoming the golden age arc of monitors. We're finally getting some good stuff worth putting on our desks. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin flexible flexible and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.